Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So here I'm with the uh, service pack or the setup file issues like uh, the WAP people will face this issue unable to download the solid set of files or service packs or new versions. So to avoid this issue, what exactly we need to do? Let's get started with this. So first thing you just need to log into your WAP portal. And uh, from the WAP portal, you just need to add your login ID and password. If you forget it, you need to go with the forgot password, then automated mail will come. Reset the password and then again log in. So once you log into this particular WAP portal, so we'll be having these all the things like orders, customer center, and all. So from this, from the support, you just choose the service request and uh, once you click on this you'll get this interface from here you just click on new service request okay so uh you'll be having the uh, set of uh, service requests uh mm -hmm. depending upon the uh, areas which you want to deal with so right now i'm going to deal with the customer centers that is installation activation and order management uh, actually we are facing the issues with these set of files so that would be the appropriate uh, area to focus on so you need to select the same thing so once you are done with that you need to add the uh, licenses which has been given to you specifically to you okay not uh, of the customers or others so whatever the uh, license keys has been assigned to you from the ds team that you need to enter here once you are done with that it will automatically uh, patch your all the data so from the areas uh, you select the uh, customer portal okay then you can try other areas but at the moment it's okay for me to select the customer portal so then so summary you need to define so from here i'll choose this unable to download the uh, solidworks service packs so just add the description what exactly you're looking for and then add the image and this is the image which i got it okay so this was the issue which i am facing so you just need to uh, take the screenshot of it and then you need to attach it and submit. So once you do that, uh, the uh, Dazor system team will just uh, review your particular SR and then they will share you the message like this one. Your request has been processed and uh, you have given the access to that and then kindly log out and log in again and try. Okay. So what exactly they will do is uh, they will associate your all the uh, active assets in the serial number so all the access they will provide it to you so once you get the access you can easily uh, log into your uh, particular Java portal and you can able to uh, download it let me just showcase the same thing so before doing it you need to remember one more thing so you need to utilize the Firefox uh, recommended one from the DS team or uh, not the Chrome okay even you can use the Internet Explorer so first thing you need to do is you need to clear your uh, uh, keys and the uh, history catches and all. Okay. So for that, I'll just uh, go with the history from here. I'll just go with the clear recent history and then catches cookies uh, from the recent search and everything. I'll just clear it. Okay. Oh, I think it's gone. It's gone. So I'll reopen it. Yeah, just select these two and remove it then. Okay, once you are done with that, you go to settings again. And from here, you just search for cookies. Okay, and just scroll down and you have this clear data and just clear it as well. Okay, once you are done with this particular stuff, go to search and search for WAP portal. And then log in. So remember, they have mentioned uh, you need to log out once you are logged in and then again you need to re-log in so let me showcase the same thing just click on this uh, profile icon and log out <clears throat> and now again you just log in So once you log into your particular uh, account, 
yeah from the solidworks news you could able to see the setup files so i would like to go with the solidworks 2023 sp01 okay and it will land you here so if you again like this is the uh page where you're gonna get the access so if you just keep on logging in it won't happen before so for that you have to use the sr so as they have associated each and everything once you log into 3d experience portfolio whatever the uh, login id you are using it by default it will give you the access you don't need to worry now okay as you could see you can able to access all the uh, service packs you can simply click on download and you can able to download all the uh, required set of files and the service packs let me just showcase one thing so i'll go with the 2022 sp 5.0 just click on this you just need to accept the agreement just click on accept and click at the download icon just click on it okay so could see the setup file got down the same thing you can go back and you can even download the sp3 version recent one so these files are uh, just uh, uh, help you to get the access to the uh, set of files and from there software will automatically like sorry uh, uh, the set of files will be downloaded uh, with respect to the internet okay so around 16 GB it will automatically download and install all the set of files so these are the uh, links okay exe files yep so this is how you can just uh, eliminate this particular issue okay so i hope you understood this particular process so first you need to raise the sr the ds team will give you the access to uh, download the set of files and service packs okay that's all about the session thank you guys stay tuned bye everyone